All right, it says that an open box is to be constructed using a piece of cardboard that's 20 inches long by 16 inches wide. Equal size squares will be cut out. I drew those in, in red. From each corner, find the dimensions of the box with the largest volume. So we're trying to maximize the volume. <laughs> All right, so here's the way to do this problem. This right here is going to be X. Whatever it is, it's a square, so those are all going to be X, right? These are all going to be X. So tell me what the tell me what this distance right here is going to be. Uh, ooh, 20 minus 2X. Mm -hmm, it's going to be 20 minus 2Xs. Can you see that? That's an X, That that's an X, that's an X, so that's 20 minus 2X, and this distance here is 16, 16 minus 2X. So, and then what's the height? X. The height is X, if you can imagine these being turned up. So your box is going to have three dimensions. Your volume of your box is going to be X, that's the height, times 16 minus 2X, right, times 20 minus 2X. Mm -hmm. That's your that's the volume, or that those are the different volume expressions that you could have. Now there's going to be a limit uh, to the domain, right? What can domain be? What must domain be b bigger than zero. zero? X has to be bigger than zero. Can't even really be equal to zero because you couldn't make a box if it was equal to zero, right? Mm -hmm. So that's part. That's the <laughs> domain. But X can't be bigger than what? Well, let me write this the 16. other way. X has oh, to be greater than zero. It can't be greater. And what than can it be? What what's its limitation? Because they're also going to ask you like that. What's the what's the domain? The twenty. Well, can it can, it, can it be twenty? I think it's ten. Wait, isn't it eight? Nope, it's eight. 20. Very good. It's, 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 eight. it's eight because oh, right. oh, right. sixteen. Okay, I'm doing twenty. Sixteen is the smaller of the two, so that's the limiting one. Oh, okay. Right? okay. You couldn't say 10 because you can't take 10 out of 16 twice. Yeah, you yeah. can't divide 16 by 2 and get 10. You know what I'm saying? If mm -hmm. you have 10. So, so X has to be between 0 and 8. So what we're doing, if, if you have a graphing calculator, one way you can do this is just plug that into your Y equals. And then look, you're going to have a graph. It's going to be a, uh, let's see, positive leading coefficient. So it's going to be something like, um, it's a cubic. So it's going to be something it. like this. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but you only have to look between 0 and 8. Don't look at anything else because those aren't part of the domain. And there's going to be some maximum point there, most likely. Oh, yeah, now I remember. And like that's what we're going to find. Totally messed up the okay? <laughs> so, that's... I was trying to solve that. If you can use a graphing calculator, that's what you do. Now, you're going to get into calculus one day soon, and in calculus, you're going to learn the trick for doing this, and it's called taking the derivative. So, let me show you how to do that. First of all, I will... So again, if you don't, if you can't use calculus, the way to do this problem is just to um, use your graphing calculator. Mm -hmm. I don't really know that there's another way to do it. How do you like, Maybe write there down would the be. answer for when it says find the dimensions of the problem? All right, well, I'll show you how to do it once I find the answer the other way. So let's mul let's first of all multiply this together. What's 16 times 20? Someone punch um, that in. It's 320. 20? Yeah. We don't need to punch that in. 320. Minus 40x um, minus 32x plus 4x squared. And then I have to add an x to all of those. So it's x, x squared, x squared, x cubed. So I've got, let's write this in, in this order. It's 4x cubed minus 72x squared plus 320x. That's my V of X. That's the V in terms of X. Okay? Here's the trick. This is a calculus trick, and it's called the derivative. And the derivative, I won't, I won't give you the full thing, but it's just the trick. You take these exponents, when it's a polynomial, you take these exponents, and you drop them down and multiply them by the front, and then you reduce it by 1. That's called the derivative, which is like this, V prime. V prime of X is the notation we use. So it's going to be what? 12X what? Cubed. Squared, because you reduce it by 1. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's this one going to be? Minus 72x. No, multiply it by 2. 140. You bring the exponent oh. down and multiply it. 144x. And what's this going to be? 320. Plus 320. You're not doing that by 
I brought the, I brought the one down. Oh, right, right. Sorry. And I multiply, bring the exponent down, reduce it by one. Then reduce the exponent by one. That's called the derivative for polynomials. It's really easy. Oh, right, because the x is taken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And what kind of equation do I have now? Quad mm -hmm. Now it's a quadratic. And the zeros, the zeros of your, the zeros of the derivative are related to the max and min points of the original function. Oh, so you just plug that in. The zeros of the derivative give you the max and min of the original function. And you try to find your max. Right? How many max and mins would I have if it was a cubic? Three. I would have one max and one min, right? Mm -hmm. Those zeros, if you find the zeros of the, of the derivative, they tell you the x values. They only tell you the x values, right? They tell you the x values for the max and min of the original function. So just punch that into your calculator. So what's the well, actually, again, if we're using our calculator, Wait, we, we might as well have just, just done the first we way. might as well have just done it the first way. But you can, what? Let's see, can I factor twelve out of all of that stuff? No, yeah, thirty-two doesn't go into it. And then four, I can take a, at least a four out. Yeah, thirty-two doesn't go. Thirty twelve doesn't go to thirty-two hundred. But you could fact, you could reduce it a little bit. Anyway, the the point is is that's how you would find the x values. And what are the x values for this? I got 2.9-ish. One sec. Probably 3. Uh, this is weird. It's probably a nice number.